The system is very much rigged. The wealthy have been very creative and they had the political power and really the political ingenuity to structure the market in ways that benefit them. I'm Dean Baker. What I'm going to point out is that many of the very richest people in the world have gotten rich because of the intellectual property rights we've given to them. Other countries don't tell the drug companies they can charge whatever they want, so they set a price. You have someone who's 82 years old, the drug that will treat the cancer costs 200,000 a year. Well, how long is someone who's 82 gonna live? You know, you get these arguments. Suppose it costs $200 a year. No one even thinks twice. If it's the case that CEOs are getting paid 20 million and they're only worth 2 million shareholders, well, the implication is the shareholders are being ripped off. Robert Nardelli, Home Depot stock plunged in this period, $210 million. John Stumpf, Wells Fargo, phony accounts, $130 million pay package. Dennis Mullenberg, Boeing, a lot of people died. Was Mullenberg worth $62 million to Boeing shareholders? Well, the answer is no. Well, in the financial industry, they're really not doing anything productive. What's the benefit to the economy? I don't know anyone who'd tell you that's anything other than zero. We had a great opportunity to downsize the financial industry in one big swoop. We could have let banks fail. There was no reason to think we'd have a second Great Depression. The fact that we could have millions unemployed at certain times and other times employers are looking for workers, that's a policy choice. High rates of unemployment not only keep people from getting jobs, but it prevents them from getting wages and sharing in the gains from economic growth. The market's a tool. We should think of the market like the wheel. You know, people could be run over by a car and that's bad, but the wheel isn't bad. The rich have structured the market to benefit themselves. We have to flip that around if we want more equality, if we want to make sure everyone has health care, if we want to make sure people have decent housing. We have to think seriously, think critically about what the institutions are and try to structure them to serve progressive ends rather than the ends they're currently serving. If we want to, we can structure the market differently.